Hi everyone. There's been a bit of talk recently about the new Home Builder Scheme. If you haven't heard about it, it's a grant program worth $25,000 that the federal government recently announced. Now, spending money on our homes is usually a pretty good investment. It's a good way to improve the market value of your property, but it's also a good way to improve the personal value in your home. Now, due to COVID-19 and a looming recession, people are feeling cautious about how they spend their money. And that's what I'd like to talk to you about here. How do you work out whether home builder is right for you and your family? I won't go into details of the scheme here, except to say that the minimum contract price is $150,000 and the maximum income threshold for applicants is $125,000 a year for singles and $200,000 a year for couples. If you are interested in this, I encourage you to head over to the Home Builder website to see if you're eligible. Now, as I mentioned, the minimum contract price is $150,000 and most people really just don't have that sort of money sitting in the bank. It means they'll need to borrow which means that loan repayments will need to be factored into the equation. The key question then becomes, not do I just qualify for the scheme, but can you afford it? And with everything going on in the world right now, is now the right time? On one hand, interest rates are at record lows, which helps to make borrowing affordable. But on the other hand, we're looking at an economic recession. It means that the sorts of investment returns that we're used to seeing just may not be there for a while. With all that in mind, my recommendation that it is that it's really important to explore how you could work a home renovation project into your budget before you start talking to builders. Once you're comfortable with your budget, then it's time to start talking to the banks and lenders because now you know what sort of repayments are affordable. With your bank, you can then work out how much you can afford to spend on your building project. And then you can start talking to the builders with confidence. It's the three Bs. Budget first, bank second, builder third. Now remember, if you don't qualify for the Home Builder Grant or you don't feel comfortable committing to a building contract right now, that's okay too. Keep saving and working towards your goals. In fact, we have plenty of my budget clients who budget for renovations without needing to take out a loan. It's all about having a system that makes the most of your money.